Hi guys. Hi guys. It's Matt and Dawn from T Angle. Today we're gonna dive into the world of Wu Yi Rock Tea. So what is Wu Yi Rock Tea? Well, it's a type of oolong tea from the Wu Yi Mountain region in northern Fujian in China. Now the reason why it's called rock tea is because the terroir that the tea was originally grown in is quite rocky and the tea was actually grown um, around these kind of steep uh, rocky cliffs uh, in the Wuyi mountain area. Wuyi rock teas are also known as cliff teas because yeah. of these steep rocky cliffs and it's this um, rocky terrain and mineral rich soil that gives rock tea its signature sort of mineral like character. So there are four famous bushes of rock tea. Um, they are Da Hong Pao, Tie Luo Han, Bai Ji Guan, and Shui Jing Gui. But however, they're not the only types of Wuyi rock tea. Some other popular types are Yu Gui, Shui Xian, and Qi Lan. So Wuyi rock teas are amongst the most prized and most uh, famous teas in China. Yeah. Usually, they're also one of the most expensive as well. Yeah. And for example, in 2002, there was a wealthy tea collector that paid $28,000 USD for just 20 grams of original Da Hong Pao. Wow, that's a lot of money for 20 grams of tea. <laughs> that's a huge amount of money for just 20 grams. And what's that? That's around about, I guess, about four brews yeah, of tea. Yeah, it is five grams every time. Yeah. Four. Go on. $28,000 USD for 20 grams of original Da Hong wow. Pao. And I guess the main, like, this is one of the biggest issues uh, surrounding Wu Yi Rock Tea. It's mean, mm -hmm. such a famous reputation, such an expensive uh, reputation, yeah. what you're going to get is you get some kind of, I guess, more business-minded people, mm. you know, slightly dodgy people who would try and come in and try and cash in on that fame and that reputation. Yeah. As a result is you get a lot of misinformation mm. um, as to what constitutes true will you rock tea. Mm. And with so much information out there, so much misinformation and yeah. conflicting information out there, it's pretty hard to find out what the truth is. Mm -hmm. So I guess in order to find that out, we decided to take a trip to the Wuyi Mountains. So the rock tea in this plantation only gets picked once a year uh, in springtime. That's when they get the best uh, tea leaves. And the rest of the year, what they do is, uh, you know, they have farmers come through and just prune, um, prune all the plants just to make sure it's uh, like kept at a manageable size. And all the tea leaves then get thrown back onto the ground to sort of fertilize and give it back to the earth. So it's kind of a good cycle, and uh, it's quite poetic actually. So being here in the Wuyi Mountains, it's a big difference in air quality. Like the air here is so much clearer and cleaner. Than in the cities, and it's not that high either. It's about two hundred meters. Two hundred meters above sea level, but already it's a massive difference in air quality. Like really fresh air, and as you can see, there's also a lot of kind of mist around as well, which is really good for tea leaves, growing tea leaves. Uh, we're here in the Wuyi Shan National Park where we're now walking up to go see the uh, the original Da Hong Pao trees the mother trees so as we walk up this path we're going to be seeing a whole bunch of different types of rock teas all of them leading up to the uh, main mother tree the main Da Hong Pao mother trees There we have it, the six original Da Hong Pao trees, the mother tree, growing there at the side of this mountain, and there's a little drone. One of the problems that we see is that you have tea vendors that will claim to sell zheng yan or true rock teas mm -hmm. at prices that seem almost too good to be true. Now, what do we mean by true rock tea? Well, let us explain. Let's take a look at this map here. This is Wu Yi Shan city. Rock teas produced within this region are called Wu Yi rock tea. This highlighted area is the Wu Yi mountain scenic area. This point here is where the Da Hong Pao mother trees are. Now, where we've highlighted, all teas grown within this area are considered Zheng Yan or true rock. It is the core and center of the Wu Yi mountains scenic area. 
on the edge of the scenic area and along the Nine Ben River, where the soils are usually a reddish color. Teas grown here are known as Ban Yan or half rock. Now, tea grown outside of the Zheng Yan and Ban Yan areas, but still within the overall Wuyi Shan region, are known as Zhou Cha. The soil color of these areas are usually more yellow and is the area where most Wuyi rock teas are produced. Rock teas that are produced outside of the Wuyi Shan region are called Wai Shan and are not classified as Wuyi rock tea. So during our trip through the Wuyi Mountains, we went um, actually as part of the Guangdong uh, Tea Culture Culture and Research Association. Mm -hmm. And being a part of that group, uh, we were actually very privileged to meet um, a few farmers and tea experts uh, in the area. Mm -hmm. And what they explained to us, they explained to us some of the uh, kind of, I guess, more dodgy sort of practices uh, of some people who sell, um, who who, who try to sell Wuyi rock teas. Mm -hmm. And they explained to us two main situations. Yeah. Uh, you have situation one where you have outsiders, uh, tea producers from outside uh, or tea vendors from outside, they mm-hmm. come into Wuyi Mountain, uh, to the Wuyi Shan area, yeah. set up a base and then on sale their tea as yeah. Wuyi rock tea. Mm-hmm. Um, that's situation one. Then you have another situation where you have actually local producers or local business people mm-hmm. who um, who already have a base there and they actually bring in lower quality teas uh, from outside the region mm-hmm. and then just process them and then yeah. once again on sale that as true Wuyi rock tea. Mm-hmm. Sometimes they call them Zheng Yan uh, yeah. because it's just from the Wuyi Shan area so they call it Zheng Yan, like you know, true rock tea mm-hmm. uh, as opposed to something from outside the region. Yeah, sometimes they came, it's uh, from the famous area like Liu Lan Keng, mm-hmm. Yu Gui, etc. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I mean, whilst there are certain criteria and I guess standards mm-hmm. uh, for what constitutes Zheng Yan and you know, all that, all, all those other, you know, sort of true rock yeah. teas, uh, it's actually very hard to enforce. Yeah, it's really hard. Yeah, yeah there's no like official sort of I guess database or anything mm-hmm. that people have to sign up to or get registered mm-hmm. to to say that their teas is true rock tea. No. Uh, there's no, I mean, although yeah, even though there is a standard, there's no way to really enforce these regulations. Mm-hmm. And so you have these people who can just try and get away with whatever they can. Yeah. And so what you have then is even if you go to the Wuyi Mountains, Wuyi Shan area, and you meet producers, you meet farmers. How do you know that they're the trustworthy ones? Mm-hmm. You know, you have. I'm not saying that all of them are dodgy. Mm-hmm. Like there, I'm sure there are. I'm sure probably even most of them are probably, you know, quite honest and quite, you know, doing the best that they can. Yeah. But there are unfortunately a few or quite a few mm-hmm. of those dodgy people who kind of bring bring the name down. I guess what we found in, when trying to source or research do our research into rock tea mm-hmm. is trying to find this trusted source. Yeah, and I guess. Luckily, when we were traveling through the Wuyi Mountains and being a part of this uh, tea research, this Guangdong Tea Culture and Research Association, mm-hmm. is we got to meet uh, some trusted suppliers, mm-hmm. and one of them being the Wuyi uh, Rock Tea Research Base. Yeah. So the Wuyi Rock Tea Research Base was founded by Mr. Wang Xuanming, a highly regarded and respected true Wuyi Rock Tea Master. Um, he was a former caretaker of the Da Hongpa mother trees for over 20 years. Um, so the research base has a um, vast tea garden with uh, 153 different rock tea cultivars that they That's are constantly yeah that they are constantly researching. So a true tea master with strong reputations, his teas are often considered the benchmark by which all other rock teas are judged. So we were very fortunate that we got to spend some time at the Wuyi Rock Tea yeah. Research Base. Uh, we got a chance to tour the facilities. Mm-hmm. Uh, got a chance to listen to Mr. Wang uh, speak, mm-hmm. uh, along with his son-in-law as well, who now runs the facility. Yeah. And also, of course, sample a few of their teas as well. Yeah. And today we've actually got uh, two of their teas uh, mm-hmm. that we can do a bit of a uh, bit of a tasting uh, here yeah. today. So we have uh, this one is Shui Xian and um, the other one is uh, Yu Gui. Yep, let's get started. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Actually both, in terms of dry leaf, dry leaf. They're actually fairly similar, which is a little surprising because I guess some of the other rock teas that we've tried previously, when you when you when you get a Yu Gui for example, it's got a really strong, a strong aroma. Quite roasted. Yeah. 
over roasted yeah. Roma. So let's Roma. have a look at the dry leaves. Yeah. This one here is the uh, Shi Xian, and then this one here is the Liu Gui. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, they're actually, they're actually very similar in shape. Yeah, now down to taste. Yes. Difference. The Liu Gui is definitely a darker, a darker color. It's got a quite a shiny look. So as you can see, the two there. There's a Shi Xian, yeah. and then there's a Liu Gui. Yeah. Definitely lighter color, Shi Xian. Darker color, Liu Gui. Yeah. And when you Aroma smell, wise. when you smell the lid, Shi Xian is more uh, aromatic. But the, well, this the Yo Gui here. It's, mm, you can smell this a bit like spice. It's spicy. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. That's definitely. It's got a bit of a. It has a bit slight floral mm -hmm. note to it. There's a. There's that roast. There's that signature sort of roasted character that I guess a lot of rock teas have. Yeah. Oh, this one's definitely spicy. Yeah. Yeah. The Yo Gui is definitely spicier. They're actually quite different. Both still have that, that roasted kind of character to it. Yeah. Um, and the teas at the Wii Rock Tea Research Base, their teas, all of them are charcoal roasted as well in the traditional uh, sort of ways. Yeah. So I didn't use the whole pack of the tea because, so one pack, it's it's 8 gram because we're using very little guy wine, mm -hmm. so um, I just use probably half of, uh, of this pack. Mm -hmm. While we taste the tea in the research base or in, in that area, in Wuyishan area, people uh, they just use a whole pack of tea. They yeah. drink, they like their tea really, really strong. Like it's super strong. <laughs> super um, strong. And with a little guy wine like this, you know, what are we using, about 4 grams or so? Yeah. Yeah, that's more than enough because um, these teas can be quite strong. Yeah, it's already a lot of teas here, as yeah. you can see. So looking at the wet leaves, once again, they actually look pretty... They're pretty similar, mm -hmm. but the aroma coming out of it, it's completely different. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so let's uh, give it a shot. Let's try the trees here first. Yeah. It's very smooth. Yeah. It's actually very smooth. It's got a nice aroma as well. Mm. I'm getting a little bit, just a little bit of a fruity sweet aftertaste. Yeah. Um, slight floral aroma. It's not, it's not, it's not really like super aromatically floral floral. Like there's no. that, there's that kind of mix between like a bake, um, I guess a roasted note, mm -hmm. plus a little bit of floral aromas coming through. Yeah. And then it ends with a lingering fruity sort of sweetness. Yeah. All right, let's try the, Yo Gui now. So surprisingly, despite Yo Gui being a stronger kind of rock tea, this one is not, you know, super overpowering. Not overpowering, no. It's got a very nice balance with um, a strong roast note mm. and the sweetness note as well. Yeah, and it's not overly spicy as well. No. Um, like a lot of some other ones that we've tried before, like it has this like kind of really I guess almost sharp, yeah. kind of spicy. Not um, pleasant yeah, like, at all. <laughs> I guess sensation at the back of the tongue, mm -hmm. you know. But this one, you know, I guess almost Maybe like people a. People like think that it's oh because it's cinnamon because your way they yeah. translate straight to English as cinnamon, mm. but it's actually it's not that That's obvious. Actually, yeah, yeah, there is a little bit, but yeah. it shouldn't be like overpowering, very really, yeah. really strong mm. like cinnamon yeah. taste. It shouldn't be that. Shouldn't be the main flavor that you get. No. You know, it's meant to be balanced in between. You know, some of the other sort of I guess roasted notes, are even a more floral yeah. kind of note. Yeah. Because uh, I think like a lot of the you know tea producers um, in Wu Yishan or even the research base itself, they say mm. you know, the mark of a good rock tea is its uh, what is it? Hua Xiang yeah. means. Rock bones and yeah. floral notes. Yeah. So this rock bone is like, like Matt said before, it's like a rocky mineral yeah. characteristic. Yeah. And plus a floral note. Yeah. So when you get that in your rock tea, then you know that you've got something that's you know that's quite of, of quite good quality. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Let's try the second division. Yeah. Let's do another one. Yeah. <laughs> Not as 
week as um, the Dan Tong, mm. as um, you know, as we have, mm. and even like Dan Tong has Shui Xian as well. So yeah. this Shui Xian and that Dan Tong, uh, Shui Xian is really, really different. Very different. I think maybe yeah. in a later video, maybe we should do a bit comparison. of a comparison. Yeah. I think yeah. Like to see because they're both called Shui Xian. Yeah. But the one from the Phoenix Mountains versus the one from Wu Yishan, Wu Yishan mm -hmm. completely different. Yeah. Um, and there's a bit of an argument about as to where. Which one had the Shui Xian cultivar first? first. <laughs> you know, some say it's from Phoenix Mountains, others say from Wu Yishan. It depends on who you ask. Yeah. Um, but the two are very different. Mm -hmm. um, and, but they you know, kind of share the same sort of name. Yeah. Um, so let's try the Yo Gui. Yeah. Second infusion. Mm -hmm. yeah. Although, we say, although we say it's stronger, it's, once again, it's not like overpoweringly stronger. No. Right? There's just some, there's a subtle depth to it mm -hmm. that just makes this a little bit warmer yeah. than the Shui mm -hmm. um, It's got, It definitely has a very warming kind of like a, I guess you want to say like a cozy kind of fire, fireplace kind of warm. Yeah, it's good for um, winter. Mm. It's, it's definitely a tea that you would love to drink in winter. Yeah. So what they normally do is so with the Wu Yi rock tea, they only have one season. They only pick the tea in May every year. So it's a spring season, spring, spring harvest. Mm -hmm. So if anyone tell you the tea is you know, pick in winter, autumn, autumn, autumn yeah. yeah. So that's not true. They only pick in one season. Mm -hmm. So what they normally do, they um, pick in May and then process the tea and they will leave it for a couple of months. Mm -hmm. So, right. yeah, so a lot of people, a lot of uh, producers, they won't release the tea until end of the year. Okay. So they leave it like about six months or so, so they will release the new tea at the end of the year. Okay, I guess that's to allow the that kind of bait um, I guess those baked roasted characters yeah. kind of settle down a bit. Yeah. Because I guess what, because being charcoal roasted, roasted yeah. um, you get a quite a you know you can potentially get a quite a strong, heavy mm -hmm. uh, bake in there. Yeah. Um, so to let those kind of fires sort of die down a bit, mm -hmm. settle down in the tea, and then sort of mix in with the tea leaves and to create something that's really well balanced and complex. Yeah. 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 I think maybe we should just try one more infusion. Yeah. Sure. Um, you know, if this is considered the best one. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> yeah. Third, third infusion. See why some would say that the third infusion is kind of the best. It, yeah. It's definitely the, the taste now. It's not once again. It's not overly floral or overly roasted. It's I don't know. All I can say is that it's a really nice balance. Yeah. Yeah. All, all those kind of things mixed together creates a really unique kind of flavor. Yeah. That rock character. The, 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 yeah. Is, is that is, is this what it is? Is this what the it is? Yun yun. Yun. They often talk about Yun in in the Chinese tea. Mm. Um, the character, you, I guess. Yeah, yeah, the character of uh, the mountain, and in this case, it's the character of the rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I mean I'm definitely getting that through both of these teas, even though they're vastly they're, they're quite different in terms of flavor profile. I mm -hmm. still get that underlying yen yu, that rock character. Yeah. yeah. And the thing is with rock teas is the elevation that it's grown in is actually lower elevation than a lot of. Um, a lot of other teas, like mm -hmm. it's not exactly like a high mountain it's type not, of tea. Because you can't grow the teas on the mountains yeah. because it, the mountains is very unique in Wu Yishan. Um, it's a very unique landform, yeah. it's different from any other you know mountains. Yeah. So you can't grow the tea on the mountain because they're all rocks. Yeah, but it's that rock, those minerals in the rocks that steep into the soil that yeah. gives it in its character. In the rocks and the cliffs, yeah. they, um, they do the plantations there. Yeah. And yeah. That's what gives it this character in this and um, I get like with say for example with a Danchong or even with Taiwanese oolongs as well they're grown in sort of high mountain areas that's why you get a really nice aromatic quality yeah. out of them mm -hmm. whereas this they're grown in sort of lower elevations. So. It really depends on what uh, what types of tea so we can just say the higher elevation um, tea is better. Yeah rock tea as I said one of the most expensive most prized teas mm -hmm. in China mm -hmm. um, grown at lower elevations. Yeah. Okay, let's try the uh, third infusion of the Yo Gui. Yeah, that spiciness is definitely mellowed out. Mm. And yeah, once again, you can see why 
a lot of those uh, producers would suggest that the third infusion is is the best one. It's the best, yeah. Everything's just really well balanced, and you get. I guess you can really clearly taste like it's not all the flavors just meshed together. You get these layers of kind of flavor. Yeah. So it's like you, you can still tell it's it's real great because it's got a little bit like um, spiciness, spiciness yeah. in the tea and and mixed with the floral notes. Yep. And a little bit of fruity note as well. Mm. So um, yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. And you're getting those layers like one by one mm. as well. Like it, it starts off with there's a, bit, there's a sweetness and then a little bit of a spiciness at the end. Yeah. And then finally, you, you, you're left with that, I guess, that rock. Yeah, new. Yeah, new character <laughs> as well. Yeah. So. Hmm. Okay, to be honest, I'm not a cinnamon person. Yeah. I don't like cinnamon. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so, when I first heard about this tea, Yo Gui, I'm like, uh, Yo Gui. Yeah, cinnamon, nah. <laughs> nah, enough for me. <laughs> not gonna try it. can try it. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, and I mean, to be honest, there was some other ones that we tried whilst we were traveling through the Wuyi Mountains mm -hmm. as well. Um, like not just beforehand, like through the Wuyi Mountains, like there's plenty of tea houses everywhere. We yeah. went to a few of them. We tried some, and I mean, to be honest, some of those were, were pretty heavily, like they felt quite strong. Yeah, Very really heavily, strong. Yeah, and they use though. a lot of tea leaves in the little guy one. <laughs> yeah, I think, I mean, that, that could be, you know, part of the reason why it had such a strong sort of spiciness mm -hmm. uh, in there. But then some of them were, you know, had a, quite a heavy bake mm -hmm. as well. So, um, whereas this one here, it's quite, you no, know, it's not, once again, as we said before, it's not overpowering. Mm -hmm. no. um, it's all, it all kind of balances out pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. What I'm getting right now, like even, now at the back of the tongue here, there's a little hint of spiciness, just mm -hmm. a little hint. Mm -hmm. um, that's quite, that makes it quite unique. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, obviously, and also with the teas that we're trying here today, um, you know, being, sourcing them and, and you know, getting some from the uh, Wuyi Rock Tea Research Base with mm -hmm. such a, obviously with such a reputation yeah. for creating uh, such great quality teas, we're obviously going to have very, like, different grades yeah. of teas. I mean, mm -hmm. with some being, Pretty expensive um, in their range. Yeah, so some of them even like they go to auction. Yeah. The teas. <laughs> yeah. So that's like super duper expensive. Not available to the common man. No. <laughs> uh, only the wealthy elites and only available at tea auctions. But mm -hmm. that's not the ones. Obviously, that's not the ones that we're trying here today. Uh, what we're trying is actually the base range base of range. of teas, mm -hmm. uh, because obviously our goal isn't just to go out and find the best and most expensive teas that we can possibly find. Um, I mean, if we did that, it would, you know, we'd, we'd go broke pretty quick. Mm, yeah. Um, Twenty-eight thousand dollars for a uh, dung pal, <laughs> for example. Like, yeah, we we go broke pretty quick. So, mm. what we're always looking for are teas that reflect the character of a particular region, mm -hmm. um, and trying to find those teas, but at a reasonable price. Yeah. As well, and I think we've, uh, I think we've hit the mark with, uh, in terms of Wuyi Rock teas, anyway. So I think these teas make for a good benchmark, mm -hmm. I think, which we can compare other rock teas too. Yeah. And for a limited time only, we've actually got a few sample packs uh, of tea, of Wuyi Rock teas from the research base to sell on our website. Yeah. Um, we've got these little sample packs, we've got four different uh, types of Wuyi yeah. Rock teas, uh, including the Yo Gui and Shui Xian uh, yeah. that we have here today, and then two others. Um, so if you're interested in uh, finding out more about those, we've got a, we'll just put a pop a link in the description below and uh, visit that link to find out a little bit more. Yeah. So that's our intro to Wuyi Rock tea. You might have noticed that we haven't talked about Da Hong Pao that much mm -hmm. because it's a whole topic by itself. Yeah, when Dawn was doing her research uh, on Da Hong Pao, she was trying to find out what is true Da Hong Pao. Yeah. Obviously, it can't just be Da Hong Pao from the mother tree. No. Uh, because you can't get it anymore. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That They stopped making that, um, mm -hmm. not let her pick from that tree anymore. No. Uh, <laughs> so she was trying to find out, okay, then if that's the case, what constitutes as true Da Hong Pao. When she was doing her research, contacting various tea experts, looking through uh, books and you know, searching on the internet, internet. Uh, doing all the research, she found that it's, it's actually a really complicated kind yeah. of topic. Uh, it's mm -hmm. got a really complicated kind of history, so we're saving that topic uh, for another video. Yeah. And, uh, so that's the end of our video today. If you like the content that we're producing or if you like this video, please hit that like button below and subscribe to our channel if you yeah. haven't already. Uh, we have a lot more tea content lined up for you guys, so please keep an eye out. But until then, bye for now. See you guys.